Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'd like to tell you about different ways you can run code on Google Cloud. In the next few minutes, we'll talk about how you can use virtual machines, serverless computing, containers, and more to run code in the cloud. Ready? Let's get started. As we mentioned in the first video of Google Cloud Essentials, cloud computing is all about getting things done using someone else's computers. With Google Cloud, you're getting things done using Google's computers. There are several different compute products you can use to run code on Google Cloud. These options range from highly managed to highly customizable. On the highly managed side, Google abstracts more of the backend server and infrastructure logic so that you can get up and running quickly. On the highly customizable side, you as a developer are in charge of more of the backend server and infrastructure logic, but this gives you more flexibility to customize these options for your use case. Let's take a closer look at some of these compute products and when you may want to use them. On the highly managed side, we have Firebase. Are you building a mobile app that requires little backend code? If so, Firebase might make sense for you. Firebase is Google's app development platform that includes key features like a database, storage, functions, authentication, notifications, and more. This makes it great for use cases where most of the processing is done on the client side rather than the server side. Perhaps you're building a quiz game for iOS and Android. With Firebase, you can store quiz questions in the Cloud Firestore database, help users log in with Firebase authentication, and store profile photos in Firebase storage. But what if your application does need some backend code, but you still want a highly managed solution? If so, you might want to check out Cloud Functions. Cloud Functions is designed for event-driven applications. For example, maybe you own an e-commerce business and want to automatically send a welcome email whenever a new user creates an account. With Cloud Functions, you can write code that runs in response to such events. And you can do this without having to manage servers, containers, or infrastructure. Using Cloud Functions is simple. All you do is write a function and deploy it to the cloud. You can do so with programming languages like Python, Ruby, PHP, Node.js, Java, Go, and .NET. Functions can be triggered by HTTP events, like a user visiting a URL. They can also be triggered when something happens in another Google Cloud product, like when a database like Cloud Firestore is updated. Cloud functions scale automatically, so you only pay when your function is executed. They also support long processing times, concurrency, and 90 plus native integrations. Several common use cases for Cloud functions include serverless mobile backends, IoT backends, real-time file processing, and virtual assistants. However, it may not always be the case that your code can be separated into different independent functions. If you need a compute product to help you manage an entire application, but still want a relatively managed solution, check out App Engine. App Engine is great for deploying web apps and other backend applications to the cloud. As a fully managed application platform, App Engine lets you focus on your code rather than everything that Google Cloud does behind the scenes to run your app on Google's computing infrastructure. In particular, App Engine's auto-scaling makes it easy to scale up and down to meet the demands of your users. Let's say you have an online retail business for children's toys. When your website receives spikes of traffic during the holiday season, App Engine will automatically scale your application up. And when traffic returns to normal afterwards, App Engine will scale back down so that you only pay for the computing resources you actually need. Additionally, App Engine handles other things for you, like load balancing, traffic splitting, error reporting, and more. Instead of worrying about the backend infrastructure, you can focus on your core features. If you want to take advantage of running your app in containers, check out Cloud Run and Kubernetes Engine. First, on the highly managed side, we have Cloud Run. Cloud Run lets you develop and deploy highly scalable containerized applications in the programming language of your choice on a fully managed serverless platform. You can use Cloud Run to deploy any stateless HTTP container. It is useful for synchronous, event-driven applications and microservices. This allows you to benefit from the scalability and abstraction of serverless computing, while benefiting from the additional flexibility containers give you in terms of programming languages, runtimes, and libraries. With Cloud Run, you can let it handle tasks like monitoring application health and troubleshooting. In similar to App Engine, Cloud Run automatically and quickly scales up or down based on your incoming traffic, and even scales down to zero. You only pay for the resources that your app uses, build down to the nearest 100th millisecond. 
CloudRun is a great place to start for a container-based workload. However, if you want to have more operational control over the infrastructure running these containers, you can check out Google Kubernetes Engine. Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE, runs Kubernetes, the open source container orchestration platform on a managed cluster of virtual machines. Kubernetes provides a set of APIs that allow you to more granularly control the lifecycle of your containers, including how you expose them to clients, how you auto-scale them, what machines they run on, and how you monitor them. GKE provides additional management layers for Kubernetes, some exposed to you to perform tasks like making managing cluster upgrades easier, and some completely taken care of by Google, like making sure the most critical Kubernetes components are fully managed. One key difference between Cloud Run and Kubernetes Engine is the pricing model. While Cloud Run pricing is based on usage, the standard mode for Kubernetes Engine pricing is based on the virtual machines that are used, with one exception. For those who are already familiar with the Kubernetes API, but want usage-based pricing and a more fully managed mode of a GKE cluster, they can turn to GKE's autopilot mode. On the highly customizable side, we have Compute Engine. Compute Engine gives you virtual machines for you to run your code on. Basically, anything that you can run on a computer, you can run on a Compute Engine virtual machine. While the previous compute options abstract away much of the server and infrastructure management, Compute Engine gives you more responsibility to manage the server and infrastructure tasks yourself. While this can add additional responsibility to your development and operations teams, it also gives you more flexibility to customize your computing resources the way you want, even with a custom OS image. This means that you can easily run your existing applications on Compute Engine without having to make many changes to your software. So there you have it, an overview of several different ways you can run code on Google Cloud, ranging from highly managed to highly customizable. Although these compute products serve different use cases, Many developers use several of them together to support an overall application architecture. For example, a game developer may host a database on Firebase, a game server on Kubernetes Engine, and an email integration on Cloud Functions. Make sure to check out other episodes of Google Cloud Essentials, where we cover topics like storing data on Google Cloud, the Google Cloud Console, the Google Cloud SDK, key use cases, and more. I can't wait to see what you build with Google Cloud. <laughs>